Yeah, um, it was interesting because I had it was it was a vision that it wasn't like revealed to me as an image in the mind per se. Mm. At least at first, it was something that kind of gradually almost came to me as the way that a poetic thought would just. Mm. You kind of have these strong feelings about something, yeah. and then an image is manifested from those feelings. So, yes, of course, one could say that it was a result of my own, um, I don't know, maybe my own mental processes. Well, I, I, I think, think I think that that is a parable, the powerful visionary parable. So, I had yeah, those expressions I, myself yeah. in the former days. It's troublesome because it does not give to you. Oftentimes, it's vision comes and you have understanding, and right, so, right. so you know, require interpretation. Then sometimes yours actually, I think, is better this way. It's understanding mm-hmm. first given. Then in order for that thought and understanding be expressed, God give you a parable, give you a vision to express it. So I, I found that actually the latter one is more precious than the former one. You know, so depends. However, you yeah. be spared from a human speculation, am I? And imagination. So, yeah, and I know that it being true for me, it's ten ten now. So the Lord tell me, tell you, go ahead. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I think the 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 main um, feeling I had in my heart and spirit that expressed itself through this this parable vision. Mm. Uh, just taking into account everything that the Lord was doing and mm. just the heart that was being expressed even during that Tuesday fellowship time. Mm. Uh, just the immensity of God's work. And um, I just have this, I still do have this very strong feeling that what we, even even in those few glimpses that we have, uh, you might say, I think Oswald Chambers, I like his description of it best. He calls them like Mount of Transfiguration mm. experiences mm-hmm. where we find ourselves in even in like Peter's place where we're mm. just overawed by the, the glory mm. of those times. Mm-hmm. But those times, those times are never, um, the, the, you, you never, you never remain in those times indefinitely, sure. <laughs> because there's still, there's still the valley, the highlight moments in a sense. So, mm-hmm. Yeah, those are yeah. the highlight. Moments. There's mm-hmm. Still the valleys of, of common life. Yeah. Um, but even those experiences, which we capture those, uh, those glimpses of um, the the wondrous nature and the immensity and majesty of the Lord's mm. purpose. I mean, I experiences, I experience those myself sometimes. Mm. with conversations with you or even times like our first well really every spiritual meeting we've had mm. there at the studio every other tuesday has been kind of like that mm. but specifically the first one we had it's just kind of like wow mm. this is really amazing stuff mm. and for me it's usually when we discuss the greater the greater vision of what the lord is doing mm. uh as like a, a purpose throughout history and what he plans to do in the younger generation. It's just those kind of conversations that really spark that within me the most. <laughs> That's great. But, but the, <laughs> even those, even those experiences yeah. Yeah. can be compared to what I saw in the vision as that mountain, which is like the eagle's head. Well, I don't necessarily call the vision. That's why I want to repeat. Uh, because sorry, yeah, I'm, I'm about to tell the vision. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm it's okay. My yeah. background. That's okay. Yes, I understand. Maybe, maybe I'm doing it slightly out of order. No, it's okay. You are perfect. Yeah, go ahead. What I saw was a mountain, with which had snow on its peak, mm. which kind of drifted down to the base of the mountain, but wasn't completely covered. Mm. Wasn't completely covering the mountain. So, mm. it actually was a very striking, very poetic um, image of. A mountain that was like the head of a bald eagle which Mm. does indeed have white feathers that stream down Mm. into the brown Mm. breast feathers so it looked just like the head of a bald eagle Mm -hmm. because of the snow which resembled the white feathers (laughs) kind of drifting down to the the base of the mountain which resembled the breast feathers of the eagle yeah The, the mountain of course was itself immense 
and towering mm. high, uh, high, um, high and far above all the other uh, mountains around it. Mm. Um, and so I compare it, even the experiences that we have that seem like transcendent moments to that mountain. Mm. But the, the key part of the vision was the realization that even what we think in our highest hopes mm. and expectations of what things will be like in the fulfillment of all things in the end of days will completely, I think, take us off guard because of how magnificent it will really be. Mm. It will exceed, entirely exceed all of our expectations. Mm -hmm. That is what was envisioned when I saw the entire body of the eagle shoot out from the earth, Mm. basically causing an eruption uh, equivalent to, if not greater than that of like a nuclear explosion, because that's basically like oh wow, ten mountains coming out from beneath the earth all at once, like an eagle shooting from the earth. Oh because wow! Because the entire body of the eagle mm-hmm. comes out. And so that that great great mountain was just the head of that eagle. Mm. Things were spread all the way across, so you can imagine that's mm. uncountable miles of of yeah. a wingspan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably half of if not an entire continent almost it's uh, oh, like wow. not that's like, I'm exaggerating but it's just good. imagine all of that just coming out and the eagle just shooting off into the the sky because obviously the eagle's head being the mountain shows that it's <laughs> oh, wow that's 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 incredible um, yeah yeah it was it's it is certainly very uh incredible mm. and astonishing imagery but mm. uh i don't know there's just something about the there's just something that's still going to be very breathtaking for mm. any of us that will be blessed enough to observe mm. what the Lord has in store for the future days. Mm. So, regardless of how enlightened we think we are about <laughs> yeah. what that looks like, <laughs> yeah, but that's that's what I saw. Bless the Lord. So you see a massive work of the Lord going to unfold, basically. Am right? So right now we only have a. A glimpse of it. That's what you mean. Okay, so yeah, yeah. Your interpretation, of, uh, obviously, you have an understanding. They had the vision, so different. Uh, the not vision requiring interpretation. So sure. it's ten seventeen. So yeah. it's good sure time it's... to wrap it up. So, <laughs> it but let me bless you, Noah. I, I'm so excited yeah. for you. The reason I see, Ma, what a firm, firm foundation, God. <laughs> the foundation is not laid by man, right? <laughs> so it's laid by the Lord Himself. Sure, we are useful tools in His hand to lay the foundation. But more importantly, your articulation in spirit, in mind, not even words of God's vision for your generation, right? Hallelujah. I hope you don't see a generation as if. After us, merely, or in America, right? It's it's a history for God's people, am I? So the creation story. Your generation, amen. Hallelujah. That's how Jesus said in Psalm twenty four. Said it for the future generation. Psalm twenty two as well, for future people. You know this word same can be translated as generation. So, Hallelujah. Can you imagine? Can you imagine that? You know, the last will be first. <laughs> I don't think yeah. you, you have yet understand what that means. Yet. <laughs> it's not last be first because you're better or anything. It's because you build on the foundation, right? You can reach a higher height. Make it sense to you? You know, so, yeah. And that's a joy. That's a joy. I think the cloud witness are looking forward to our day. To your yeah. day, and uh, to see the uh, the closer proximity, the fulfillment of God's work, am I in human history, the fullness that is to come. Yes, read Psalm one hundred eighteen again. You know the 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 the, the stone the builder rejected become a capstone. That stone is not a small stone. It's a mountain. <laughs> right? Grew to a mountain, right? Making sense too? You know, so, 
Yeah, yeah that's actually reminds me of that, that other vision I had that day when I saw the helicopter going up into the upside down city. That was the first oh. impression I did share is that when it hit the side of that building, I was like, what else could that be but the cornerstone that makes men stumble? <laughs> yeah. Because it broke it broke the blades of the helicopter. So yeah. it was very much the cornerstone that caused that it that caused those blades to break. <laughs> yeah. So it kind of works as a yeah, some kind the of interpretation music. is uh, we didn't finish. This is the morning, so evening. That's actually yes, in morning, I guess. The interpretation should be man's best wisdom, am I? Through the toxicity of wisdom, am I? The the poisonous making sense to you because you have a symbol of a poison. Poison, some toxic, basically. You lift it up. A helicopter means. Self ascension, my mental ascension in a sense, making sense to you. We literally the picture of mental ascension. Yeah, yeah. it's religious spirit making sense to you in a sense. And yep. it cannot touch reality, the kingdom. Once it's touched, it will be totally crushed. So yeah, mm. that's a tough one, you know. So it's gonna happen. I mean, to to Christianity, this nation. So it's a sad. But <laughs> be rejoice at the same time. God secured us as a remnant, am I? So he, he will, he will build us up. Hope that sounds yeah. arrogant or judgmental. Just matter of factly, obediently to celebrate and uh, walk out His counsel for us, am I? His calling for us. So Amen. now may you be blessed and um, have a good day. Okay, yeah. Thank you for your time. Well. So. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. Bye. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh huh.